Well, supporters of the president gathered in Honolulu to watch his speech live late this afternoon. KITV Force Kilke Kerr continuing our team coverage with reaction from the Hawaii Republican Party to the president's address. Kilke? Well, they called it a State of the Union watch party. About 60 volunteers and staff from a group named Organizing for America. They held similar parties across the country, and they're sponsored by the Democratic National Committee to promote the president's agenda. It's not surprising that some of the audience in the former Abercrombie for Governor headquarters of Ward Warehouse gave the president a standing ovation when his speech ended. That's because they're all Obama supporters, like Douglas Moore of Makiki, who says his wife was laid off a year ago when her accounting job was outsourced. I think there's a, a real spirit not only here in Hawaii but the country that we're getting better. So we've been through some tough times, you know, and it's a tough economy. The local crowd applauded several times during the speech, like when Obama defended health care reform. That was a highlight for Marina Cavanilia Maza of the Kapiolani area, who's an occupational therapist. Hearing him talk about and listing what's good about the Health Care Act and asking the other side to work with the Democrats. Obama proposed deficit-cutting measures, including a five-year freeze on spending for some domestic programs, and Obama supporter Paul Hannigan of IAEA liked that. The idea of cutting spending and making government more um, efficient, I think, is a good idea. I heard there's a lot of waste going on, so it's kind of a good thing to see. Well, it was definitely a, a new Barack Obama. I felt like it was kind of Barack Obama, the, the extreme makeover division. Dylan Nonaka is executive director of the Hawaii Republican Party. It sounded like he uh, adopted a lot of Republican conservative Tea Party ideals. He sounded like somebody from the, from the Tea Party or maybe even uh, George Bush or Ronald Reagan. So it definitely wasn't what we're used to. But Obama certainly sounded like a Democrat as he outlined initiatives on education and infrastructure, including high-speed rail, airport and road construction. He also pledged to boost the nation's spending on research and development and vowed to prepare 100,000 more science and math teachers by the end of the next decade. Laura, back to you. All right, thanks so much.